Greetings from IITM student community. Those who are interested in joining our qualifier coaching may contact the given WhatsApp number to enroll. We will cover full syllabus along with mock tests and graded assignment detailed explanation. With 24-7 hours, doubt cleared in support. An electric heater when connected to a 110 stores draws a current of 5 ampere. What is the power dissipated in the heater? So to solve this, power equal to voltage multiplied by current. Power equal to 110 multiplied by 5 ampere. Power equal to 550 watt. So 550 watt will be the answer of this question. Next question, what current in ampere will the heater draw when connected to a 220 volt source? Using the Ohm's law, V equal to IR, I1 multiplied by R equal to V1 and I2 multiplied by R equal to V2. These are, these are two, two equations where I1 and V1 are the current and voltage in the initial case when voltage is 110 volt and I2 and V2 are the current and voltage in the new case when the voltage is 220 volt. So on taking the ratio of these two equations, uh, I2 multiplied by R equal uh, divided by I1 multiplied by R equal to 220 volt divided by 110 volt. So I2 divided by I1 equal to two. I2 equal to two multiplied by I1. I2 equal to two multiplied by five ampere, which is the value of I1. I2 will be equal to 10 ampere. So that will be the answer of this question. Moving on to the next question, what is the power dissipated in watt in part B? So we'll be using the value of uh, I2, which is 10 ampere, to the 220 volt source. Using the formula, power equal to voltage multiplied by current, P equal to 220 volt multiplied by 10 ampere, power equal to 2200 watt. So that would be the answer for this question. Next question. The filament in a lamp has a resistance of 90 ohm. How much current flows through the lamp when it is connected to a 110 volts? So we can rearrange equation to solve the equation. Solve for the current. I equal to V by R. I equal to 110 volts, which is given, divided by 90 ohm, which is the resistance of filament. I equal to nearly equal to 1.22 ampere. That will be the answer of this question. Moving on to the next question. How much power in watt is dissipated as heat in the register? Using the formula, again, P equal to V multiplied by I. P equal to 110 multiplied by 1.22, which is calculated in the part one. And power comes out to be 134.2 watts. Next question. A heater coil A takes 12 minutes to heat a certain quantity of water and increases the temperature by 10 degrees Celsius. Another coil B takes 7 minutes for the same. How long in minutes would it take to achieve the same temperature rise if both are immense in the water together? So basically there are two heater coils and both are raising the temperature by 10 degrees Celsius. A takes 12 minutes to, to do, do that task and B takes 7 minutes. And now it's asking what will be the time when both are working together. Now we know that uh, coil A takes 12 minutes to increase the temperature by 12, 10 degrees Celsius and coil B takes 7 minutes for the same. So heat energy of A equal to 10 divided by 12 and heat energy of B equal to 10 divided by 7. So using the formula total heat transfer rate multiplied by time equal to temperature rise. So adding the both of the heat, uh, in heat transfer of A and heat transfer of B multiplied by time equal to 10 degrees Celsius. Substituting the value. So it will be 10 divided by 12 plus 10 divided by 7 multiplied by time equal to 10. Simplifying the equation. So 70 plus 120 
divided by 12 multiplied by 7 multiplied by time equal to 10 190 divided by 84 multiplied by time equal to 10 10 will get cancelled from the both uh, sides so it will be 19 divided by 84 which is the value of time 84 divided by 19 so time will come out to be 4.42 minutes so that will be the answer of this question next question a 12 volt battery has a rating of 30 ampere r so there is a 12 volt battery with rating of 10, 30 ampere r what's the energy stored by the battery in watt per watt hour energy stored by the battery equal to volt multiplied by ampere r energy stored by the battery equal to 12 volt multiplied by 30 ampere r which is 360 watt hour that will be the answer of this question in the next question it asks how long in hours can this battery deliver a constant current of 5 ampere to calculate the duration for which the battery can deliver a constant current of 5 hour 5 uh, ampere we can use the formula time in hours equal to capacity in ampere r divided by current in ampere this is a really important formula substituting the values time will be equal to 30 ampere r divided by 5 ampere equal to 6 hours that is the answer for this part b next question it is a similar type of question a 6 volt of battery has a rating of 300 watt r what is the rating of the battery in ampere r so using the same formula we used in the last slide rating in ampere r equal to energy in watt r divided by voltage so rating will be equal to 300 watt r divided by 6 volt answer would be 50 ampere r now sec now second question what is the value of constant current in ampere that this battery can deliver if it is continuously used for 25 hours so time is given as 25 hours and rating we already calculated in part a to determine the constant current that this power battery can deliver if continuously used for 25 hours current in ampere equal to capacity in ampere r divided by time in hours so current will be equal to 50 ampere r divided by 25 hours which will be equal to 2 ampere that will be answer for this question so thank you dear learners join the channel the 119 plan only by clicking the join button after subscribing to the channel to see the remaining part of this graded assignment video please note itm student community has launched itm bs in electronic system qualifier coaching at 719 rupees See you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Join the channel the 119 plan only by clicking the join button after subscribing to the channel to see the remaining part of our graded assignment videos. Please note ITM student community has launched ITM BS in ES qualifier coaching. Adjust seven hundred ninety nine rupees. See you in the next video. Bye.